Hey, how's it going? My name is Zach. In case you don't know, I do reviews. Uh, sometimes consisting of the reaction variety, which is what you're seeing today. Otherwise known as an RNR reaction and review. Also, in case you didn't know, there's a link in the description if you want to request any music you want me to react to. And, uh, yeah, that's where I take all my requests from. So, But you do not need to request things like this, which are new releases. For artists that I regularly follow, at least. So Grace Vanderwall, basically whenever a new video comes out from Grace Vanderwall, expect me to react to it. Don't expect me to react to it immediately, but it will happen. As soon as possible, pretty much. I prioritize new videos as soon as they come out. I put them in my schedule. Keep in mind, I film one video a week, so if you don't see it from me immediately, that's why. Also, if you're new, I had did a reaction series to the entire just the beginning album from Grace Vanderwall, so feel free to check that out. That spanned quite a long, long period of time. You can see the quality of my video literally improve as the series progresses, but you have reactions to every song on the album, every music video she put out, you know. There's also a playlist for every Grace Vanderwall reaction, review, anything I've done for her. So, without further ado, I'm going to check out Stray. I don't really know anything about it. I was also recommended to check out the lyrics at some point, and I'll do that at some point. Okay, Grace. In the desert? Cool. Bird box? Nice. Yeah. Okay. But I wanna feel my work and I keep getting it all thinking I'll write it out, rip it out, start all over the world and I keep only seeing rain. I will see yeah. Nice. This is stylistically pretty different than the stuff she did on the album. Only. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I can see why you would want me to look at the lyrics there, because it seems to be a very deliberate meaning here, but I'm not entirely sure what she's going for. Like, 
So someone in the comments said, uh, Jackie Tunberg says she wants to hang on to the past, parentheses, riding her bike, and is anxious about her future, not knowing what it will be, parentheses, blindfolded, but in the end she has to leave her youth, parentheses, bicycle, and go forward into growing up, parentheses, blindfold off. I mean, that makes perfect sense to me. <laughs> but in terms of the video, I really like the look she went for, like with the white dress where it's like, you know, that's kind of like a universal ageless kind of attire you can go for and at the same time I like the look she's going for where she's not like super made up or anything uh it's very raw just like very similarly to clearly where it's just like raw it didn't look like she was put in a seat and like her hair and makeup was done for hours for this you know it's like she wanted to just be raw in the video more her genuine it also lends itself to the song itself so I want to write a song, one that can explain my lungs. I want to write a song that you can hear and know how my heart yearns and how my insides churn and how my cheeks burn from the weekly storm and how my face turns before you return to the wall and then down the floor. But I keep only seeing rain. I will say no, but you keep crawling in my brain. I want to get lost, run away, in the dark is where I'll stray. I gotta write a song, but I want to feel my words and I gotta keep getting it all wrong. Think it out, write it out, rip it out, start all over, ooh. <laughs> it's very weird to read lyrics <laughs> without the rhythm. I want to feel the way I used to. I want to move the way I used to groove. I want to feel the way I used to. I want to move the way I used to groove. And that's the gist of it. So is it, I wonder if she's really talking about her songwriting process in these lyrics. Like, she was actually just having trouble writing. So I got to write a song, but I want to feel my words. And I keep getting it all wrong. And then she's like, all right, let's just make that part of the song, talking about how I can't think of the right words. Okay, so I really like the effect where she's like, I keep only, and it'll have her own voice kind of echoing with that. I really love that effect in a lot of songs, especially songs in Grace Vanderwall's kind of general stylistic voice, tech, you know. And Grace Vanderwall's done this a couple of times, and I think it really suits her voice nicely, those kinds of effects where it's like her own voice layered echoing herself to emphasize different moments like that. I really like that. And I really love how she, as it's going on, the percussion is building up. It's like dun, 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 dun. And it's getting more apparent, more prevalent in the song. And I really like that. That kind of building, that kind of builds a nice structure to the song. You always want to see that where a song, you know, it starts out more bare bones and you add in instruments. It's always... I mean, that's like the basic way of, basic rule of music in that style. It's like you just add instruments as it goes on a little bit more and more, and that's going to loosely be a good formula for a song. But, you know, she had some nice stylistic thing, flares in there that I really like too. And yeah, I thought, I thought, I thought this, this showed a little bit of a different side of the two grace as well. It's another in the same vein as like Darkness Keeps Chasing Me and Clearly to where... Is like more on the serious side, and she's like, "You're not, gonna, you're not seeing her smile at all through the video." Um, and it's definitely I found similar to clearly because you know she's had to, from what I can remember, a pretty similar look, and just the style of the video, other than the choir in the house, you know, it just takes itself a little seriously. This one was dressed in a desert the whole time, but that's fine. I think a video can be simple like that, especially with one like this. They want to have their symbol, symbolism in it, fine, that's cool. But overall, I thought the style was nice. It's like more, it's a little different than the style she usually does. Like, it's similar, but I'd say it's uh, adjacent to her usual style. It's like right there, on the, sets itself apart a little bit. Um, but I can see this pulling in people that maybe some of her other songs didn't. Because, you know, this isn't like a mainstream song. This is more like of a niche more hardcore music person kind of vibe is what I'm getting from the song. Overall, I thought it was, it was good. Not my craziest favorite video. Like, I'm not a huge fan of the in-your-face symbolism kind of stuff. I've never been a huge fan of that. Because my thought is if you're going to do a simple video, I'd rather it just be, you know, one you can enjoy pretty casually. Like, the, uh, the blindfolded thing, I'm not entirely sold on that. What the commenter said sounded about right. But, uh, I don't know. Overall, I thought it was good, though. Great. Thank you.
I love you. Thank you for watching. And I love Grace Vanderwall as well.